welcome to today's quick little yoga video. This is going to be a really short and sweet practice for grounding when you feel like you're in a rush or you don't have that much time but you still want to benefit from a yoga practice. We're going to start off today with some breath work followed by some simple postures which will hopefully by the end have you feel nice and grounded, relaxed and ready to take on whatever is before you. So we'll start with uneven breathing today. And so just straight away, sitting in a comfortable seat of your choice, I'm sitting cross-legged. Um, actually, let's all come into a cross-legged seat. So having your right leg cross in front of your left to start with. And then just close down the eyes, feel the sit bones ground down into the mat as you feel a lightness and lift through the upper body. Place your hands wherever they feel most comfortable. Just start to bring your awareness to your breath. Breathing in and out through the nose. And just notice any sensations or emotions that come up in the body as you start to breathe in this way. Now let's start to elongate the exhale. So we won't be counting the breath yet, but just try to make your exhale longer than your inhale. Follow your exhale all the way to the end and allow your next inhale to happen naturally. Calming down the nervous system, transitioning out of any frantic energy into a more relaxed and calm energy. All right, now let's work with some counting for the breath. So we'll inhale for a count of four and exhale for a count of six. And if at any point this breath begins to get forced or hard, just let it go because no benefit comes from forcing the breath. So let's inhale, exhale, and we'll begin. Inhale, two, three, four, pause, and exhale, two, three, four, five, six, pause. Inhale, two, three, four, pause, and exhale, two, three, four, five, six, pause, and inhale, two, three, four, retain the breath, and exhale, two, three, four, five, six and let the breath go let your breath return to its natural rhythm let the shoulders melt away from the ears heavy in the elbows light through the crown of the head now let's inhale reach the hands up overhead bring the pal backs of the hands together and then crossing at the palms interlace the fingertips it's okay to have a slight bend in the elbows, but if you can straighten out the elbows, go for it. Sit up tall here, engage the core, and then exhale over towards the right, just twisting through the upper body, keeping both sit bones down on the mat. This movement might be really subtle, so we're not trying to crank ourselves to the side, we're just really subtly rotating through the upper spine. And now left fingertips come to right knee, right fingertips come behind you to deepen your twist. Melt your shoulder blades down your back, gaze past your right shoulder if this feels good. With every exhale, see if you can melt or twist a little bit deeper. Beautiful, left hand stays where it is. Right arm reaches up and over, coming into a side body stretch. 
keep the breath going in and out through the nose. And now round through the spine, right hand comes to left knee, crossing at the elbows. Roll to the backs of your sit bones to curve through the back, drawing chin to chest. And release, we'll swap the legs over. So left leg will come in front of right this time. And then inhale, hands up overhead. See if you can cross the hands in the opposite direction. So the way that feels a little bit weird. Sit up tall, pay attention to how this side already might feel a little bit different to the other side. And then on an exhale, twisting over towards the left. Not trying to fit any certain shape here, but drawing the attention inwards and notice what's going on internally. And then right hand comes to left knee, left fingertips behind you, sit up tall, twisting towards the left, gaze past the left shoulder. Maybe you close down the eyes if you haven't already. Keep the core switched on, spine is tall, sit bones grounded down into the mat. And then right hand stays where it is, left hand reaches up and over to side bend. Pay attention to where you feel this stretch the most and send your breath to those areas. Paying attention to any little pockets of space that open up that perhaps you can melt into to deepen the, the pose, deepen the stretch. And then round through the back, left fingertips to right knee, roll to the back of the sit bones, chin to chest. Breathe into the space in between your shoulder blades, your upper back. Navel draws in towards your spine. Let's stay for one more breath. And then release. We're gonna come onto hands and knees. Cool. So spread your fingertips nice and wide. Create as much space as you can in between each finger, grounding down through the palms of the hands. Just feeling the hands in the ground here. And now big toes together, knees as wide as is comfortable for you. And child's pose, sit your hips back towards your heels. Walk your arms out in front of you, forehead comes down to the mat. I'm just gonna come up so I can talk. So staying in your child's pose, send your breath into your rib cage and feel the expansion across your back body with every exhale. Feel your chest melt down into the mat with every exhale. So I meant inhale with the rib cage, exhale with the chest. Send your tailbone back towards the wall behind you as the crown of your head reaches towards the top of the mat, becoming really heavy in the hips. And stay here for about five more breaths. Just staying focused on the sound of the breath and the sensations in the physical body. And then walking your hands back in towards your knees. Swing your legs over to one side and come to a seat. Thank you.
Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope this short practice was just what you were looking for and you're able to come back to it whenever you need or maybe just pick up a couple tips and tricks from this video that you can implement into your daily routine. I hope you're feeling calm with a sense of focus and presence and I wish you nothing but the best. Have a great day. Namaste.